Well, the title Hollywood Africans is a shout out to Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat did a painting in 1983 talking about the history of African Americans in the entertainment business and in the creative fields, evolving these fields, but also being marginalized and oppressed societally and the tension between those two things. And this album kind of is a statement about that, but also about the idea that no matter what level of marginalization, we have overcome that and healed other people across the world, across the globe. And it's a divine calling to have the gift of the arts and creativity and music and a people that represent that kind of love and soulfulness across the world. And I'm just happy to be born into the lineage of that and represent that musically with what I do. So I met Bono and I was invited to perform for him and he had a curtain at his party that hid every performer. And then the curtain would open and reveal who was playing. And then after they played a song, they would join him at the table. So everybody was there from, you know, Beck, um, Pharrell performed right before me, Herbie Hancock performed and he was sitting right in front of me with Bono as I performed. And I joined the table afterwards and T-Bone is sitting there and we start talking about the history of American music and you know, all the things that we're paying homage to with the record. And long story short, after two years or so of collaboration, we go into a church in New Orleans, cut all the lights out and make three days worth of music, just kind of trying to channel these different ancestral heroes and, and, and um, bring that into some new music. And um, that's what happened. I want people to realize that space is a good thing. Contemplation and reflection are good. Making room for that with the arts is something that I love to do. I think it's healing. I feel like we need some healing right now. There's a lot of division and the music can be a meditation for you in your day to kind of reconnect with yourself which will help you to connect with other people better. And ultimately, the heroes, you know, that we're paying homage to, Louis Armstrong, you know, Fats Domino, the heroes of rock and roll, folk, jazz, the blues, gospel, American superpowers. Their force was healing and it brought people together. So ultimately, I just want people to bop and dance and cry and laugh along to this music. <laughs>